Right now, it's just unmatched, Teddy. It's unmatched. Guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see by the title, I am transforming into your favorite Instagram baddie today, okay? Hair and makeup edition. So, if you want to see how I got this look, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video for me, and keep watching. I look crazy I know I know but I'm gonna get it together I'm about to turn into an Instagram baddie as you guys saw by the thumbnail I'm gonna be let me find the picture so I have it in my saved pictures this is the look that I'm going for today I'm gonna be bouncing back and forth between these two pictures for hair and makeup inspo because I saw her hair and immediately I knew I wanted to recreate this before I even got this wig. And then when I saw this wig, I was like, this is literally the same type of vibe. Like she has the highlights and everything. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna be transforming into your favorite Insta girl baddie. Everybody knows Jody. Everybody shopped on, on Fashion Nova. She's even on Pretty Little Things. She's on Hello websites. So she is that girl, okay? Bag is secured. I need to put on something on my lips because my lips are so dry. I'm gonna put on this. You guys know I always use my Laneige. Mm, 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 mm. This is my hair from yesterday. I wrapped the edges down, of course. Cannot do that. Can't not do that. But I did not, I could not find a bonnet. So this is how the hair looks when you sleep on it. Honestly, it's not bad. Still looking. Pretty good if you ask me, just needs a brush. I'm gonna fix it anyway, half of this is gonna be covered, only this is gonna be showing because I'm gonna do that little bang. So I'm not even, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, we don't always have perfect hair days. But you guys, this color, you guys have been going crazy about this color. I don't know what it is lately, but y'all have been really liking my hair. I don't know, I'm just like getting better and it's showing, so I'm getting more props or what. But like every time I post my hair, it's like Tasha Link, and I be thinking y'all tired of the hair videos, but you're not, so thanks so much yet again. But um, yeah, I'm super excited to do this video because as soon as I saw this wig, I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was doing the second I saw this wig. I'm like, I'm like 70% sure she has this wig on, like this exact wig, because I've been seeing a lot of people with this kind of, you know, unit. So I'm just saying. If you want if you want to turn into Jody, step one. So I need to figure out how to do this little bang situation. I've literally, oh, this is cute. Oh my gosh, my hair looks so cute. I'm gonna figure out how to do this bang thing because I see that she has it in a style where that she can wear it like curled and down while everything is pulled back. And then if she wants, she can like swoop it. So I need to figure that out. I did not do a part with this originally because me and colored hair and parts don't get along. I have not mastered that. And see like when I part it, there's literally parting space. I just, I don't know, maybe I need to put concealer, but I just don't know how to make it, make it do what it do. Looks like from like right here, I got that right. And it's like a little part, like a little tiny part. And then just follow that and grab the rest of that hair. So I'm assuming it's like this much. Let me check the other picture. I'm assuming, I'm hoping. Because if I go like, maybe not all of this. If I go like this, I want it to be able to lay flat. Can you see what I'm saying? So see, not all of that. Okay, so you see if I was to go like this, oh, I need my brush, girl. You see if I was to smooth this out and go like this, it's gonna be flat. So I think that's what I'm gonna be working with today. This is gonna be my little curled area. So I need to pin this up. These highlights are really pretty. Like, you guys, this is this is a great 
pre-colored unit. Like it looks freaking amazing. Cause you know, like when these companies have these pre-colored units um, and you know what I mean by these companies, <laughs> they're just very skeptical because you don't know if you're gonna get what you're seeing. So I am pleasantly, pleasantly surprised that the wig came out this good. So I'm just going to brush that out. I didn't really do baby hairs and I don't think she has, she has that one baby hair so I can do that one. She has that one right there, that's gonna be it. And this is gonna be covered so I just need to, okay, okay. I'm gonna focus on, let me see how much I want up. So I'm gonna section this off real quick. And I'm gonna brush the back and section that out the way because you know, I have a really hard time when it comes to half up, half down. So I'm just gonna section that out of the way so I don't accidentally grab some of the hair from the back and blah, 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 blah. blah. So now I'm taking my got to be spray and just spraying that, all right? And smoothing it. And that's combing that product or brushing that product into the hair so that everything is smooth. Let me get this back too. And I think this hairstyle is perfect if you have like day six hair or something you know weave is different so we don't really have day two hair but i feel like this is perfect if you just want to switch it up and you know you're going to take your wig off soon or wash it you can put product in it and won't have an issue Ooh, sizzle honey so now i'm going to smooth that out but you know me i'm a little extra i'm gonna take some of the wax stick just to ensure that it is smooth because all of this in her picture looked pretty smooth, so I just want to make sure that my hair is just as laid. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. This is looking as smooth as I can get it, honestly. I just, I can't sit here all day and do this. My arms are about to fall off. Just going to take that. And just keep smoothing it. And I'm going to put it, like, on the top of my head, honestly, because that's what hers looked like it was. And just a tip when you're putting on your ponytail, if you want a high ponytail, typically put it a little bit higher than like your hand is because if this is where you want your ponytail, when you put the um, hair tie in, it's gonna go down. So you sometimes have to put your ponytail like way up just for it to fall where you want it to. Uh -huh. And voila, I got it, you guys. It's a little lean, but you know what? I'm not doing it again. I'm not. I'm really not. So I'm going to take a little strand of this, just enough to wrap around this ponytail holder because that's what she did. It was wrapped around. Let me see before I actually do it. Yep, that should be good enough. She wrapped it around. You guys, I freaking love doing like inspired looks because I feel like it it tests you and pushes your creativity. Because like for me, honestly, I'm not gonna say I'm not creative, but I'm very like a I'll stay in the box type of person. And whenever I try something new, I'm like, wow, Tasha, you're really actually capable. <laughs> Part that I'm super nervous about because I feel like I need to cut it but I don't want to cut it so we're, we're just gonna see so I'm gonna smooth this out because again I'm gonna make sure everything is nice and smooth so I'm just spraying that I know I sprayed a lot but I want it smooth I'm just gonna take my curling iron And smooth that out. My hot comb. 
And I see in this front area, it's like pushed up and then back. So that's what I'm gonna have to achieve. And I love that little like push back look. It just looks so cute. I'm gonna go like these. And you know, like you don't always have to press your hair after you hairspray it. Like if you're trying to like mold it, you see how it's doing that by itself? You don't have to add heat, but guess what? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Because again, I want this to be seamless as possible. Hers actually isn't cut. If you look, it's like sitting on her shoulder. So I think I'm just gonna leave it. So I'm just gonna curl it really tight because I know it's gonna fall while I'm doing my makeup. And actually I'm gonna pin it while I'm doing my makeup because I don't want this in my face while I'm doing it. And I'm just gonna let it drop. And so now it's time to take down the rest of the hair. And I'm just gonna curl it to you guys. It's nothing new. You guys know I really don't know how to curl like that. So I'm gonna be using my curling wand and then we're just gonna jump into the makeup. the hair portion for now I did not comb out anything I still got these little you know Shirley Temple curls but I'm just gonna leave them and I might as well go ahead and spray a little bit you guys know how I feel about that hairspray on my hair but whatevs and I'm just gonna go ahead this might look stupid but I'm gonna go ahead and tie this down Pull it back, because I just want to make sure that my ponytail part is like, you know, flat. So the hair is done for now. It's time to move on to this face. So her face is a typical Instagram baddie beat, in my opinion. Neutral light eyeshadow, a nice lash, snatched brows, matte face, matte lip. So yeah, so look at it again. I'm gonna be using my Morphe brow pencil in the shade Mocha, and I'm gonna snatch my brows up. I think my brows are, I think my regular brow routine is gonna work for this look. I don't think I need to switch anything up because I do an Instagram baddie brow, not an Instagram brow, an Instagram baddie brow, there's a difference. Cause you know like Instagram baddies like to be beat, but they're also like, they like to be very natural, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna do what I normally do. Y'all, my scarf is so tight, I wanna cry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just gonna speed through the brows because same oh, same oh, guys. 
Okay, so got my brows on. They looking real, mmm, mmm, snatch. So I'm gonna go in with my clear brow gel and I'm just gonna define the hairs and kind of brush them upwards because I like my brows to be sculpted but fluffy at the same time. And I think that's like a trendy thing. I think we're out of that super like boxy drawn on brow. Like you want it to be drawn, but like still look natural. And this is the CoverGirl Clear Brow Gel. I love it because of how small the, um, the spoolie or the applicator is. It just gets every single hair. I'm gonna put this all over my eyelids um, to serve as an eyeshadow base. And always just use whatever concealer you have left over from cleaning up your brows. I promise you, that's more than enough concealer. You don't need a thick layer of concealer on your eyelids. It's just not necessary. Go ahead and set that with any translucent powder. I have the um, Huda Beauty Blondie in front of me. So I'm just gonna take that and set it so that it doesn't crease. So I'm gonna move on to my eyes. Um, Jody had like a neutral eye. It, it wasn't matte. It looked more like a satin shadow and not too shimmery, but it was like kind of that like whitish creamy kind of eye and then a brown crease. So I'm gonna try to accomplish that because I feel like all of my like vanilla -y shades are super shimmery and I don't want anything super shimmery like the look I did the other day. I want it to be more toned down and more on the satin satin kind of look so we'll see so I'm gonna go in with I want to make this very simple hmm okay so for starters I'm gonna go into my crease with mocha mommy which is my bronzer shade and I think going in with the bronzer is like the ultimate hack because what is a more perfect transition color than your face bronzer like I just don't think that <laughs> anything else is gonna look as good like it looks so good so I've been doing that a lot before a lot of my looks, especially my neutral looks. I like to go in with my bronzer because I know it's not going to be too dark. It's not going to be too muddy. It's not going to be too light. It's going to be just right. Next, I'm going to go into my Ola Chola palette by ColourPop. This is no longer on the site. My apologies. But as you can see, it is just like a perfect neutral palette. It has all the browns you need, a little bit of red, some blacks even a gray, which most palettes don't have, and all the neutral, like, whitish tones that you need. So, I'm sure ColourPop has something similar to this or any other brand, so check it out. But this is what I have decided to use today. So I'm gonna go into Loca, and I'm gonna apply that in the crease. It's actually similar to my bronzer shade, but just not as warm. So I'm just gonna put that in the crease. Next, I'm going to go into the shade Ruka. It's like a darker brown, and I'm just going to put that in the crease just a little bit. I don't want this to be super duper smoky, but she does have depth in her eyes, so i got to add a little bit of a darker shade. I hate that like a lot of the palettes that I grab for are typically no longer available or discontinued, but let me tell y'all something, okay? I am going to use the stuff that I have. I cannot keep buying stuff and not using it. Like, so whenever I show y'all something, if you want that look, you need to get on it so that you can follow along because I buy my products to actually use, not for decoration. I'm past that phase, okay? My bank account does not agree with that. <laughs> so, yeah. But when I saw this look, I knew that whoever did her makeup, whether it be her or her makeup artist, that they applied her lid color with a fluffy brush. I just know it. I just know it deep down inside. So I'm going to take these two shades, Cholita and Lil Smiley, and just go back and forth. And I'm going to apply that on my lid with a fluffy brush because it wasn't super defined. It was just very effortless. Like It literally looked like this. And you guys see, this isn't really far from like my regular look. So maybe I should have picked something different, but I just 
I just, this is the kind of look that I like. Like, I just gravitated towards it. If you guys have any other recreations in mind, whether it be hair, makeup, please comment them below. DM me, tag me, let me know because I have been like stumped. I'm like, there's the looks that I wanna do, but it's like, I don't act fast enough. I feel like every look I think of, I'll see a YouTuber do it and then I'm like, I know we all do the same thing, but it just sucks when somebody bigger does something first and then you do it, you automatically look like a copycat and like, in reality, we all be thinking the same things. <laughs> we all have the same ideas. So I'm going back in with that um, first brown shade that I used and I'm just buffing that out, making that a little bit warmer. And maybe she did it. I'm gonna look at her picture again because I feel like maybe it was a matte because, oh. Yeah, I think it was a matte. I'm looking at it and I'm pretty sure it was matte. So we're just gonna leave it like this. And you guys know I love this. <laughs> I'm gonna do the lashes towards the end because you guys know I hate doing my makeup with my lashes on. I'd be feeling like this, so no. So I'm gonna move forward to the face. I have not moisturized today, so I'm gonna go ahead. Oh my gosh, my computer's not. I have not moisturized today, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm using my Nivea Soft Cream Moisturizer. Then I'm gonna use my Fenty Hydrating Primer because I freaking love this stuff so much. And you don't have to use a moisturizer and this. I just like my skin to be very quenched. Just so that I have that smooth, poreless look, I'm gonna use my um, Touch and Soul No Pore Blend Primer. And I haven't used this in a while, but it's a really good primer. It really does like smooth everything out and give you a nice smooth finish. So I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, girl, you, you are really dragging this, but I'm gonna be using my Pat McGrath foundation because it's just so good. And I feel like it photographs great. It gives you that natural look, but with the rest of the steps, you still have that beat look, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how to explain it. I just think I'm really into my base and how my face looks. So I'm loving this foundation by Pat McGrath. She's pricey, you guys, but she's worth it. So I'm in the shade, medium deep 24 like a perfect match so i'm going to be using that with my juno and co sponge because the juno and co sponge even with thin or low coverage products adds a little bit more coverage instead of shearing it out or absorbing the product so Born This Way Concealer and okay so listen you guys see how because this foundation is exactly my skin tone you guys can see how close chestnut is to my skin so this is actually a skin tone concealer and I like to use that just to add a little bit more coverage in certain areas like under my eyes you guys see it's a little dark and around my mouth area so I like to use two concealers for that reason um, I know a lot of people like to like pile on highlight shades, but that's not my thing. One highlight shade is enough for me because I add powder. But yeah, so I love I love this concealer because it is more full coverage. So you see how we're like we're adding a little bit of balance. <laughs> love my base technique I just think that like right now it's just unmatched honey it's unmatched and for a highlight concealer I'm gonna go in with the Pat McGrath in the shade M20 and I would like to say her products are very good quality when I see them like when I saw them reviewed before purchasing them same with like the eyeshadow palettes they look super like cheapy and just regular but like no like this is like glass like like everything is just luxury okay but I'm gonna use that to highlight and I'm gonna go like right here because I noticed that like her inner corner was really bright and really highlighted. And I do like to do that, but I think sometimes I go a little overboard and drag my concealer out too much 
and I end up having like a super bright under eye. So I'm just gonna do that right under the eye, right there, middle on my forehead. <laughs> cheeks are like she got the cheekbones for days so I'm gonna go on with a little bit of cream contour today I'm looking for a brush <laughs> and I'm using my Huda Beauty in the shade medium and I'm gonna go higher so like my cheekbone is like right here okay you guys see that it's right there okay I need to blend that back out <laughs> but I'm gonna go a little bit higher and it's gonna give me that illusion of a super snatched face and I like, I've been liking to use like a smaller brush to apply my, my, oh my God, what can I think? I'm so focused. My contour or my cream contour because it just doesn't get as messy and muddy. And now I'm just gently going to blend that upwards. You see why I didn't initially add product all the way down here? Because as I'm blending, the product is moving. And I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Powder in the shade Blondie. And press that underneath. I did not use too much. Although I'm going for a matte face, I'm layering my products versus using too much of one product. So now I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Powder and this is a shade Y405. It's brightening, so I'm going to apply that right underneath the eye because like right here is where she was like super bright and super matte literally under her eye i feel like i want to get one of these in a brighter shade let me know if i'm doing too much but i just feel like it's like that's like a nice shade but it doesn't give me that like mm. but i know sometimes i just overdo stuff so i don't know it's still a good shade it's more of like a toned down it's not super white, but I want something that's like bright, you know? And just for color purposes, I'm gonna go into my Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Powder. You guys have seen this. This is in the shade Golden Caramel. And I'm gonna just put that underneath the eye because I'm telling you, this area was super bright. So this is what I feel like I need. Maybe I'm tripping. <laughs> But I feel like I need a shade like this in the Makeup Forever. So I'm just applying that underneath. This is a really good powder too. I just haven't used it in a while because last time I used it, I went overboard and the girl was looking casket ready, honey. Ready. I'm going to go on with my other Makeup Forever powder in the shade Y505 and just set the rest of my face all over. And this is a BH Cosmetics brush. You guys always ask. It came in a marble set. So just check that out if you have it. Next, I'm going to go on with my bronzers. And today, I'm going to use Coconati and Mocha Mommy. <laughs> and I'm just going to start off with Coconati and just kind of map out and give me that depth and flick it upwards. Like, Coconati is so nice. And I'm going to take a little bit of Mocha Mommy and just deepen that a little bit more it's definitely more on the warmer red side but listen the instagram girls be snatched cheeks be sucked in okay i'm gonna go back to coconut and use that on my nose because i do not use mocha mommy on my nose because it is just too harsh into that Huda Beauty powder and I'm gonna snatch underneath and I'm gonna pinch the size of my nose just a little bit more I'm gonna use my Fenty blush because it's like a there but not there kind of moment and I know it's a cream and you're supposed to apply it before but I think applying it after 
will kind of like not matte it down but give it like a different look so i'm using rose latte and i'm gonna apply that right on top because like her blush was there but not you see the difference that it's it's giving it's like mm. so as much as i want to use my morphe luminous spray i feel like we have to keep this face matte so i'm gonna go on with my makeup forever mist and fix spray my face is not gonna be super dewy I'm trying to follow directions i kind of looked at her picture to see what kind of lashes she may have had on she probably had a lash extensions but they were definitely more they weren't like big to small or anything they were just a nice full lash so i'm going to be using my glow up academy lash in the style pop pretty on purpose and they look like this i think this is going to be perfect so i'm just going to like measure them on my eyes and see oh this is perfect Ooh, these lashes are perfect like oh <laughs> I love when I get a good lash. I knew this. I knew this was going to be the lash. I knew. So her lip was definitely a nude moment. It was matte um, and it was very lined. She has very full lips. So I'm going to try to overline my lips without looking crazy. So that was nude three because I really wanted my lips to be super plump and overdefined. So just to diffuse that a little bit more, I'm going to take nude 2.5 by KK. Why am I trying to talk and do this? I'm gonna take new 2.5 by KKW and diffuse that. Her lip was like matte, but it looked like it was kind of like a satin lipstick. So I'm gonna go in with a 90 style first because it's really matte and really pale. And then I'm gonna take nude 3.5 and just go over that so it just doesn't look as dry. It just looks like a nice lipstick. Jody, is that you? I just turned to the side and I was like, yes, girl, you look so good. I did that. So now I'm gonna take off this scarf that's been cutting off my circulation for the past hour. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and take this off. Oh my God, that's such a relief, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and just brush through this. You know, it's just more of like a slight wave, not super curled. And if you want, you can just take this and literally, ooh, girl, and just tuck it behind your ears and go like that. And it will, I literally, I think I nailed this look. Like, this, oh, or you could wear it like this, which is super cute as well. I love it all. So I'm gonna put on something that looks a little Instagram baddie-ish and I'll be back. So this pretty much completes the look. I just put on a little cute jacket because she had on a little jacket in the picture. I'm going to show you guys one more time. On a cute little jacket. So I figured, you know, I can give that same little vibe. But this is the completed look and I think I freaking nailed it. Turn it into your favorite Instagram baddie. Like the hair is perfect. The makeup is perfect. Like girl i did that so this pretty much completes the look i hope you guys enjoyed it i know that it seems like really simple but i think this is a whole look this is a whole vibe i'm loving it i'm living so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel like this video for me a little thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next one